Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, August 3rd, 2023. Let's make Lindsey Graham happy. Woo! Or by the Democrats, where are you at, man? Holy shit. Woo! They love watching people die. Oh, yeah, they love it. Woo! Look at that. Holy shit. Yeah, Lindsey Graham! You rhino Republicans! Woo! Let's fire again! Fire it all! You will miss him! Oh, man! Hold him! Alright. Enough of that. Hey! Someday leave me a comment if you think the war needs to come to an end. Making this video, I wasn't going to make a video. Uh, I was going to take a break. And uh, I don't know. I'm spending way too much time on Twitter. And uh, I had some idiot. He told me, he says, I, well, the loss of uranium in Africa is no big deal. Uh, we make, uh, we man, well, we mine plenty of uranium here in the United States and uh, Canada. <laughs> the guys, they obviously divorced from reality. <laughs> Most of the uranium comes from Russia and uh, Africa, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So I thought I'd make a kind of a just a brief uh, investment type of video. I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't been really paying much attention to the stock market. I've been mainly focused on uh, Africa and the Ukraine war and, um, you know, what's going on in those. And, and so I don't know. I Saw a video, maybe something happened with the stock market today, I don't know. I just went in and checked my investments, and then I thought, you know what, why don't I make an investment video? By the way, this is not investment advice, I have to say that. This is just what I'm doing, um, and I I don't know, I'm, I didn't make any money, I haven't lost any money. I'm just kind of hovering around, around normal. Uh, some of them, especially my uranium investments, have gone up recently. <laughs> but but these are some things that you might want to look at. And I just wanted to list off a few. And, and I'll probably do another one here soon. So you've got BKRRF. BKRRF, BlackRock Silver Corporation. Very speculative. All these are speculative. You will, If you invest in them, you will lose all your money. If you invest in any of these, you will lose all your money. Uh, just as I am, I'm sure. So CLGCF, CLGCF, that's Clarity Metals Corporation. D-O-L-L-F, D-O-L-L-F, Dolly Varden Silver. E-L-E-C-F, E-L-E-C-F, that's Electric Royalties Corporation. You've got FSM, FSM, I think that's one of my more, um, I, I, less speculative investments. I, I think their prospects look pretty darn good. For, that's Fortuna Silver Mines, Fortuna Silver Mines. Then you got G-A-L-K-F, G-A-L-K-F, that's Glatinos Gold Corporation. Uh, like I said, if you invest in these, you're going to lose all your money. I'm just throwing these out for you. Then you got uh, G-L-D-G, G-L-D-G, that's Gold Mining Incorporated. Then you've got H-C-N-W-F. HCNWF, that's Hypercharged Networks. By the way, I'm up on that position. Uh, I think that was recommended by Redacted. Uh, and what they are doing is, um, I think they're making a lot of um, uh, charging stations uh, for California. So that, <laughs> I can't believe I'm making money on that. But uh, I, I, hey, you know, it seems like they're doing all right. Then you, this is really speculative. I wouldn't recommend this one. IAUX, IAUX, that's IA to Gold Corporation. Now, this is one of the less speculative positions. I think MAG, MAG, that's Mag Silver Corporation. And then, um, by the way, I think, you know, just like uranium was kind of out of favor for, for the last couple of years, uh, so is copper. And I think a lot of people are missing out on that. So I took a speculative position in copper. And this is J-U-B-A-F, J-U-B-A-F, that's Majuba Hill Copper. Uh, now, I, I highly encourage you to look at the Sprott um, uh, ETFs, uh, that's Sprott out of Canada, 
and uh and, and i'm gonna there, there's a lot more ticker symbols that i got i just didn't want to make the whole damn video about this and so one that one that's just on the rise and it's still a good buy i think is you are nj you are nj that's sprott junior uranium sprott junior uranium and so um, if you want to know where um, the stock market is headed and where the uh, u.s economy is headed i thought this was a brilliant headline jp morgan chase <laughs> recession will be necessary well <laughs> if you don't think we're already in a recession i got some swamp land here in florida for you i can tell you that right now now, you still got some good buys uh, while your dollar's still worth something. Uh, you know that you've got the, uh, and this was a, a point of, uh, can, you know, of information I've been putting out on, uh, on uh, well, X now. It's not Twitter anymore. X. And uh, you've got the BRICS com coming up on August 22nd. Um, who knows what's going to happen there? Now, is that going to be like the end of the dollar? No, but it's, it's the beginning of the end. But you still got silver at $24 and platinum at $930. So I wanted to start the video. I always try to give you advice uh, as to any things, things you might want to be looking at. Let's get into some of the latest, latest tweets. Um, so uh, it looks that Macron is not ready to admit his surrender in Niger and is preparing for military intervention. Right now up to 1,500. Let me see here. 1,500 French troops are stationed in Ni Niger, plus there is an American contingent of up to 1,000 people. French allied countries can intervene on the side of France. First info comes in that Nigeria is moving its troops northwest of the country to launch air offensives against uh, Niamey, Niger. On the other side, uh, the leaders of Ma Mali and uh, Burkina Faso also announced that they would intervene on the side of the new authorities in Niger. So it looks like we're getting up to uh, war in uh, Africa. So I kind of predicted all of this. I just want to keep throwing this out there. Also, do not forget about the Wagner PMC stationed in Mali, which may also intervene. And so I've been asking, where is Wagner? Where is Wagner? Nobody could tell me. So it seems like this uh, uh, person uh, told me where Wagner is. So that was good. Uh, and uh, and then of course he says Macron will definitely not get an easy victory and cannot can get involved in a big protracted war in West Africa. Uh, so and so yeah, yeah I think that's about where things are going. Let's get to the next one. Uh, this was <laughs> this was a cute meme. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this up. Let's see. I'll make it big. Can you see that one? <laughs> I'll read it to you. I might have been backwards on the on the phone there. Who do you trust more, Fachi or a dog dressed as a doctor? <laughs> I, thought that was, I had to retweet that one. I thought that was fantastic. Um, let's see. Uh, this was uh, uh, a celebration in Burkina Faso. They welcomed home um, Erahem Taro home from his trip to Russia. And uh, boy, the people went crazy, man. Everybody was cheering him. Boy, can you imagine seeing uh, Joe Biden in something like this? I'll kind of show it to you. Here, let's... Uh... So, unfortunately, they put that to music. I hope that doesn't get me a copyright violation. Um, you know, I... I you know, I'm getting tired of Dan Bongino. Uh, you know, I, I love the guy... He's done a lot of good reporting, but he just is focused on Hunter Biden and, you know, all the stuff. And I said, that, hey, Dan Bongino, what, what is your number one rule? Don't get dead. <laughs> Don't get dead. Therefore, I'm asking for more coverage about the warmongering Democrats driving us all towards globalist thermal nuclear war. Uh, we'll see if that ever does anything. By the way, I've only shown 233, well, let's see, what's it now? Yeah, 232 followers on Twitter. And yet every day I see five people following me, 10 people following me, five people following me. I think I'm being shadow banned as I was uh, before uh, Elon Musk uh, took over Twitter. Maybe I'm buried in the algorithms there somewhere. So uh, uh, if you're watching this video, maybe send something to Elon Musk because uh, I did. And I said, look, man, I... I think I'm buried in your algorithm, but that's okay. I, I don't do this for uh, 
for money or, or anything or fame or any of that crap. Uh, so this was one that I put out. Um, reports are that the United States Empire supplying cluster munitions to Ukraine and Ukrainians' use of them has backfired. Big time. This opened the door in the court of world opinion for Russia to bring their superior cluster munitions to the field of battle with devastating consequences. So what, what has happened is you, you have to understand the Ukrainians haven't been able to bring their, um, their hardware forward. Uh, they're sending in uh, um, infantry troops to probe the uh, battle lines uh, in their, well, continued supposed counteroffensive. And uh, now that Russia is free to use their uh, cluster munitions uh, in the court of world opinion uh, at will, um, they're they're wiping them out, man. It just it's it's horrible to watch. So, and then of course I pointed out, I said war is not just about winning on the battlefield; it's also about economics, politics, and world opinion. Something the warmongering Democrats, the warmongering Democrats, seem to have forgotten. So let's see. Um, uh, this was another one. Uh, I just put this out, and uh, I'll, I'm going to continue on with this one. So I said, so let me see if I have this correct. The United States blows up the Nord Stream pipeline, cutting off Germany from cheap Russian natural gas. Strike one. Europe imports illegal aliens from all over the world now, causing mayhem in their countries. Strike two. Germany shuts down nuclear power. Strike three. France keeps nuclear power, but may become cut off from uranium fuel from Africa. Strike four. Sanctions from the West turn the rest of the world against the Western financial system. BRICS is coming. Strike five. Let's see. The West elite decided to wage war on a nuclear superpower called Russia, uh, depleting their military weapons and monetary systems. Strike six. So we'll continue with strike seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and uh, we'll see what you think of uh, the West's ability to survive all of this uh, unscathed. I doubt that very, very much. Uh, by the way, I did see some reports that tension is heating up. Uh, there was two helicopters that were supposedly crossed over into Poland, and I, I don't know. These are probably false reports. But I did want to say that uh, definitely, ten, well, you get rhetoric out this uh, like this out in the, the, the news world because we hear so little. Uh, it means that tensions are heating up on the Belarus-Poland border as the Ukraine war widens into Africa, Syria, and soon Iran. I wonder where Wagner is. And, of course, I meant that sarcastically. We know that Wagner is in Belarus. Um, so uh, uh, let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, that's about it. Uh, the rest of these, let's get to some replies real quick, and then that'll be the end of this video. Uh, let's go over to here. Profile. Replies. Yeah, and this was the one that, uh, triggered, uh, the, the video today, as I said. In that case, I hope you're, because this was a guy that said that there's plenty of uranium, don't worry about it. And I said, in case, that case, I hope you're invested in uranium, as I am, um, then, uh, uh, boy, I tell you, there's a lot of people talking about the jab, and uh, can't talk about that on YouTube, but I just said, thank God I never got the jab. Let's just say that. I think I can say that on YouTube. Um, and then there was, uh, I don't know, there was a publication. Um, they were talking about some stupid stuff. I I'm amazed that some of these publications, how do they still exist? I don't even know. Uh, this was one I thought was a pretty good comment. I said, amazing, isn't it? Pravda would be amazed at what the United States Empire media has become. America puts the former Soviet Union to shame. <laughs> I mean, when you get when you got shrill places like CNN, MSDNC, ABC, uh, CBS, uh, they're all shout the same uh, thing that the government puts out. I, I mean, how in the hell are these places? I mean, of course, the Democrats watch all that. You know, that's what Democrats do. They just like their own echo chamber. Um. Yeah, this was uh, this was a good one, and I, it gave me got me another follower. I said, uh, perhaps you can answer the question: Where is the manpower coming from in Ukraine? You know, I'm seeing so many dead bodies on the battlefield uh, every day, uh, and I don't know if uh, you can believe these numbers, but I, you know, we're looking at upwards of 500 to a thousand a day. Well, let's just say it's 500 a day. So you you go into 30. Uh, I mean, you you do the math. I mean, that's 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 huge numbers of people. 
Well, let's do a thousand a day. That'd be thirty thousand. So take you know take that in half. That's fifteen thousand troops dead in a month, every month. I mean, how how can you sustain those losses? The, the World War Two. I'm not sure. I, I wish somebody put a comment below. Maybe uh, did we see these kinds of uh, cash? Well, Russia did, of course, during the war. Yeah, I guess I guess we have seen these casualties in World War Two. Anyway, because they they fought most of that war. Um, this was a comment, and this is probably where I'll just about end the video. And I wanted to say the, the warmongering Democrats, the warmongering Democrats who want American, this was somebody because they said that it's time for us to send our troops over to Ukraine. And I said, the, the warmongering Democrats who want American youth dying in Ukraine, a war that has no geopolitical gain for the United States empire, have to be childless warmongering Democrats. There you go. So that's, that's how my feeling on that matter. Um, all right, so then, then somebody pointed out that there's still fuel going into uh, Europe from, uh, from Russia and, or from Ukraine, and I said, uh, you are correct. Um, some, go through, some, some fuel goes through Ukraine, and I said, ask yourself why Russia has not destroyed those uh, pipelines yet. Hmm? Good question. Uh, let's see, then somebody was pointing out that, uh, that white people had gone to Africa and enslaved everybody. <laughs> I, was like, I swear these people are so ignorant, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I said, well, yeah, Africa sold their people to everyone. White, black, Asian, uh, Hawaiians. I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, everybody bought people back then. Uh, it wasn't just white Caucasian people and, uh, I said, the left has taught the world that only white people participated in this travesty. Even today, the left, the warmongering Democrats, are participating in the largest human trafficking operation in human history. Uh, just look at the United States open border. I mean, child trafficking. Democrats are all for it. Fentanyl coming across the border, killing hundreds of thousands of Americans. Democrats are all for it. So don't tell me about white people uh, uh, selling people into slavery. So we'll, uh, we'll finish off the video uh, right there. I don't want to get on my soapbox too much. Uh, so let's, uh, let's hit it. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar. Tell that Democrat writer, go tell that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that bike biting United States politician, sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.